Now, that's the reason why everybody's so crazy about this uh, stupid coronavirus. Yeah, it is in a way a little bit strange because it's a sleeper virus and it's a, it's a virus uh, that can cause um, dramatic health issues um, when the immune system doesn't work properly. And there should be done some studies about mm -hmm. leftness or rightness, who are more at, at risk and who are easier to, to, to deal with it uh, yeah, in a almost unknown way. So mm -hmm. that's, that's one thing about uh, the pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, we have now um, the fear mechanism at work. And what the world does basically, it's not only one fear mechanism. So it's the, the fear for your very health, mm -hmm. right? And yes. if you're not caught in that fear, yes. <laughs> let's have the economic fear because everybody's shutting down, all the businesses go down. And yes, yes, scary. yes. Yeah. So if you don't call up in the first fear, you got to call up in the second fear. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason when everybody's in fear, the not self world, what happens is, um, the brain doesn't work properly anymore. You will be easily manipulated and controlled. And then you, and then I see, especially in my country and with my students is there is one stream that's totally fearful and oh, my health and my economics. And then I talk to my human design students and they're totally relaxed. Yes, what yes, they yes. have learned is follow type strategy and authority. Mm -hmm. And for them, it's not a threat anymore yes. because they know who they are. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, what I'm always saying about the countdown 2027 is, um, I always say the fates are nice because in the way they are nice, they're giving us an opportunity to test what might come in 2027 so yes, that we yes, have yes. a little bit uh -huh, of an uh -huh. experience there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I, so, I would just want to... Sorry for interrupting you, but I would just remark you on that, actually. It was part of my, uh, I, what I wanted to say in my opening speech. I want to credit you for that. It was you, actually, who, uh, who proposed that subtitle for this year, Contact of 2027. And um, it's uh, amazing to see how it is taking in, in effect. And, uh, you know, I also see the pandemia as one side of it, you know, and, and the kind of imminent threats. And it's interesting to see that, you know, it could be very, maybe be, uh, you know, it could be a little sign for what's coming more and more. But as it has unfolded, I think what's striking for me is, is the collective's response, you know, and, and, um, and how that seems to be perfectly in tune uh, with that shutting down mechanism of the cross of planning. Uh, like it's kind of eating itself up a little bit, you know. Uh, exactly. Yeah, and we, we all, everything what we do right now, like social distancing, wearing masks, this is in a way how we, we practice what will come in the future. Mm -hmm. Because with the raves, I uh, don't like to interact socially. Yeah. I mean, they're yes, yes, yes. Us, yeah, so they don't want to be touched, you know, mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. so hanging at the moment. Yeah, that's a hint for the future. Yeah, and mm -hmm. so many more things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it's, uh, it's also, I mean, I, I remember back when, when it started, uh, this pandemic, I, I was, you know, uh, was a week there, uh, was a bit, uh, you know, all the worrying and, and stuff like that. But, but I, I, I've noticed how my form is like, hmm, it's kind of like, ah, oh, this is nice. Uh, and I also observed somehow how, you know, thinking of 70% generator patterns around the world and how this is such a global impact. And that the global sacral pattern has been, shall we say, interrupted in a sense, or, or you know, the sacral energy flowed differently. Uh, yeah, I think that's not, very interesting to think about. So. Yeah, not only the sacral energy, energy, but what I hear from my projector and manifesto students, they're so relieved that they can stay at home and don't have that much work. I mean, this is for them a big recovery. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, for this uh, shutdown that we yes, have. Yes, 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 absolutely. <laughs> they really get to, they really get to. Uh... And I even say, you know, I don't want to go back. I mean, I can handle the social distancing, but you know, this crazy world out there, yes. crazy sacral world, I don't want to deal with it anymore because I've, I've experienced now the difference here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, well, thank you, uh, Andrea. I'm in my script. We are coming back to, uh, to you in, in the end yeah. also. Do you have anything more you want to, to add before we... Uh... 
No, I think uh, Darshana should uh, yes should her, her insights. Yeah. Let, let's uh, invite the projector. Uh, uh, just inform of this also. We have a kind of little experiment uh, in itself here today. We have uh, what we call our senior teacher panel, basically. Uh, of Andrea and Dashana and, and, and Jakob and Dirk. And then we have, uh, you know, uh, we don't really measure that somehow, but we have defined this as such at, at least. And then we come over to the rest of the teachers. We have them in a type order. So we will start with the manifester, uh, Pavaka, and we will move uh, over to the projectors uh, and to the generators in, in, in the end. And maybe this experiment, now that the audience know this, maybe they can give a or get a uh, perspective on, on the uh, kind of the questions we're bringing uh, to the uh, panel and, and uh, what the, the different types are uh, replying. So, Dashana, hey. Hey. You are, I have to give you some recognition to, to start with. You, are, you are have been such a rock, uh, shall we say, in, in, in the, this festival ship. Not not rock in a, in a bad way, but but you know you really kept the anchor for for this uh, festival and and uh, yeah I would just want to publicly thank you for that uh, you're really bringing the vision uh, forward and and uh, also with Andrea I should have said it while I had you there but both of you are really uh, a great support for me so yeah we make a good team I like it yeah we do yeah mm -hmm. yeah well hi everybody. Um, Darshana, <laughs> for those of you who don't, me, don't know me, um, I was also then at the festival last year, and you can see that I'm tribal and, and collective, so <laughs> it was pretty, pretty cool to be able to be in a tribe that was humanity-oriented, um, but, but tribal as well. And, and so, um, so I was really happy that we're doing it again this year, and I really invite you all you know, to, if we get it going, you know, if COVID lets us, <laughs> then yes. um, it, it's such a wonderful experience. I mean, it reminds me sort of of our Ibiza events that we used to have with Ra, and which were wonderful too. And um, because the theme is human design, because we're like sharing a language and that, I mean, for me, you know, so I feel like most of my life has been speaking a language either literally, like moving to Denmark, or figuratively, um, but nobody understands, right? And so for us to be together like this is yes. just a delight. About the, the whole shift thing, it's really interesting. I mean, my design's really open, but it's also not because I'm defined with two channels and it's splenic and it's logical and I'm a cross of service, I'm a 52. And so for me to have the pause <laughs> to have the world go on pause yeah. so that I could watch the flow, watch the rhythm, be able to not be pressured by the, the sacral energy, the solar plex energy, the, I mean, I'm a, anyway, I teach out here at the house, you know, so it didn't affect me much at all financially, emotionally. I mean, yeah. but it did affect me splenically. You know, there was, my son had his first baby, uh, my Yay. first baby. Yeah. Uh, on the 11th of May, and he was like 16 days delayed, and there was yeah, corona the conditions at the hospital, and, and, um, and then it was a difficult birth. And, and so one of the things I noticed for me about the COVID, and I'm a first tone, so in my personality centered, so I have the need for security, was I was afraid the COVID would get me and I wouldn't get to meet my grandson. You know, it was like yeah. I was constantly walking around going, I just want to live long enough to see him. And then I started watching all of that, watching the fear come up from, you know, my family in America and, and the death count that was just boom, 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 going along. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I just like something just flipped that layering of the collective abstract crisis you know mm -hmm. just kind of flipped off mm -hmm. and i um i thought well i'll just see him on the other side if i don't see him on this side right you know mm -hmm. i mean if i shift body then okay that's what it was and then then i caught the witness part you know like i re-engaged with it mm -hmm. 
and I was just going to, sh- can I share? Yeah, you- uh, yeah please do. Uh, maybe I will, yeah, should I stop my, sh- I will stop my share and then you can try. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I remember back in, in the beginning, I think it was early March, but there was six days there, uh, you know, where the trans- transit went uh, through the gate of crisis, um, through those six lines and how I just, you can see the program, how it was just, that made me relax. I remember it. It made me relax actually to see them. Well, but this is the program, you know, it, it's an, how yeah. perfectly it fits to the, you know, the development of the Corona, you know, and it was just like, hmm. so I, I could yeah. relax a bit. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's it. And that's me. I mean, I'm looking for patterns. I'm logical service and um, always looking to see what is the existential pattern uh-huh. that is there. And so then I like when we were talking, all of a sudden 36 popped in and I was like, right. I mean, this is what what we're all getting hooked into because I mean, crisis is such a beautiful thing. The gate crisis 36. I love the gate because it's, yes, there it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, there it is. <laughs> I've got the 35. I'm just like, yeah, give me the new. And, um, and I'm a third line and the adventurer. I mean, I love the new, Mm -hmm. but, um, but when the collective comes in, you know, the collective panic and all of a sudden we go into the walls, all of a sudden we go into um, the lack of cognitive awareness and get caught up in herd consciousness. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, these are the lines of it. And I, I put in orange the detriments and the work to do in, in yellow. But then, because I teach the mystical way, and Andre and I both teach the cosmology classes, and then I've been doing a lot of mystical way readings for people through the school. Um, and so then I connected with the, you know, what we're doing right now and how we're somehow... If you, if you think of planning in Phoenix also as the homo sapien and transitists journey, like, cause we're yeah. here, you know, like yeah. we came here to be here and to wear this design and wear this awareness and engage in, cause we chose to incarnate at the time we did engage in, I, I assume I'll be here in seven years, who knows, but you know, each of us will be here we're already experiencing something that is such a slow process. We're experiencing it now. And the excitement that comes out of the idea of leaving tribal um, collective thematic frequency and leaping as, as you do in the mystical way, as Ross says it and in gate 51 into the unknown, but the unknown being, your uniqueness, your you, like the aliveness that you are without anything else interfering with it in terms of authority. And um, so I just included the lines of this for for each of you who have (laughs) a profile, I assume you all do. Um, You look at your personality line and because that's the one, the personality is the one that can get weirded out, right? The body is just going to do what the body does, but, and hope that the personality will give it a chance to live its life. Um, But the, um, you know, like for mine, it was to adapt to shock or not as I move along my mystical path of initiation, of actualization, of differentiation, of Mm -hmm. being able to become consciousness Mm -hmm. in form instead Mm -hmm. of conditioning in form. And um, yeah, so that's what I wanted I, to offer as an, a contemplation for today. Thank is, you, thank you. I really appreciate to get to get some graphics. Also, I mean, I remember talking to Dirk, uh, a reflector in, in the panel uh, so, a week ago or something, and he maybe we will maybe he comes into it. But he, as he, we are going through a deep mutation now, I mean, it, it's just not a new species. I mean, it, it's not pro, just cross of planning. It's just not us. I mean, it, it seems to be a a very big mutational shift that, that that's taking place now. So, uh, yeah, it's exciting times. <laughs> it yeah. So this is our play, you know, mm-hmm. and we can do it together at the festival. <laughs> we can do it yes. together. Um, but, but that awareness of, like Andrea was saying, you know, that I mean, we've got these three fear centers and, and, you know, we like having bodies. <laughs> We like having family. We like, you know, there's preference there. So, um, so understanding it 
like the opportunity that is there. That yeah, if, if I may just um, take you up on that, um, um, I, th I think the vision I had for the festival, you know, was one thing, uh, and it's connected the, my trajectory as a Sphinx and, and uh, you know, to gather in, in the international community, but, but this, it comes out from this joy of being together. Uh, and, and I think that find that's so uniquely refreshing and lovingly in the human design community. Uh, There's literally all types. And it, it demonstrates that this knowledge just really strips us of so much conditioning just in the, you know, the platform of meeting in this knowledge. And I think you're right, as you say, that that's the real value uh, of this festival, to, to come together in Aura, uh, to just be there, submerge uh, there for a week. And, and uh, yeah, it, it's a different process being together in Aura, learning. Uh, definitely. Yeah, and, and to understand, I mean, if we have to cancel then, because they say there could be a second wave, um, you know, there's, I don't feel there's any mistakes. I mean, then we're, then we're just here to be present and watch the movie, you know, yeah. we're just here to watch. Like I got to see how the fear that came in of losing the opportunity to meet, meet a new being that's part of my blood, you know, and how that sent me into a whole process. We all have, um, we all have our possibilities. So that's, I think that's what we wrote on our Page. I, I, you said opportunities, right? And I said benefits. <laughs> yes, <laughs> or something exactly. Like that. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I should uh, know what I'm talking about uh, when I say it somehow, but I have my personality son in uh, gate 13 in the second line in detriment. And, uh, you know, it's a narrow path. Uh, that's how I surf, you know, with my G center. And, and as the path is getting narrower now somehow, um, you know, I'm thriving. Uh, I, you know, my, my Norwegian uh, human design community is booming. <laughs> I, you know, I haven't seen the likes of it. Uh, and I've seen it also on the international spectrum that in the groups I, I'm running, and et cetera, that there's just more people coming. And, and, uh, and yeah, that there is call uh, inside, you know, inside of the storm area, I think, in our community. Yeah, and that's what Ross said also was, you know, the ones, those of you who are here now, those of the who, those of us that hear the potential behind this knowledge, mm -hmm. not that this is an exclusive um, club or even that it's an exclusive modality that we can see the value of these times through. There's mm -hmm. many different modalities that will do that, mm -hmm. but um, but to align our frequency, you know, mm -hmm. so that our frequency is clean and clear, yeah. and and pure and resonant, you know, then, yeah. then it adds that, it contributes that to it. I think we have to move on now. Uh, uh, we could talk for, forever, but uh, yes, I think that's very important. I and mean, that's what I'm experiencing myself also that, you know, it, it's not a nice time in not self now, uh, you know, this process uh, of these months now in the lockdown has shown me my not self. I mean, it's shown me my, my mental uh, not self much clearer. Uh, in some ways, it has been easier, you know, to take a step in, into my form and into strategy and authority. But um, mm. there's a lot of confusion in the mental field. I mean, sometimes I have a bad morning and I get hooked on it too. And, you know, it, it, it's... Uh... Yes, but thank you, Dashana. We will be coming back to you in the end also. Uh, let's move on here to Jakob. Hello, everybody. This is Jakob. Hey, Jakob. Uh, Hi, Christo. Nice to meet you, 2 for yes. brother, MG brother. Yes, hi there. I'm in Prague, Czech Republic, and uh, this is exciting to be with you all here. Some of you I know, so uh, hello. And uh, yeah, I think this time of, uh, you know, uh, coronavirus really uh, has highlighted some of the themes that were, were there all along, you know, the themes of uh, how the life is not working and how we're you know, doing things that not always are valuable to us and things like that. So I think a lot of people had a chance to um, um, go inward uh, in a way that they're not really used to. And uh, there's always a choice between like feeling as a victim or being the hero in our own journey through life. And uh, and uh, you know, I myself, when I got to, to talk to a friend of mine, actually, 
about the virus before it even became so scary, you know, like two weeks before we went into lockdown. Yeah. And, uh, and I heard some of his opinions on, on the thing. I, I got actually scared and I was like uh, feeling this existential threat to myself in a way that uh, took me a couple of hours to get out of because uh, pretty soon I actually got angry. I got pissed and I said, well, I refuse to be scared. And uh, through that anger, I worked my way out of it but, and, and I never come, came back to it. But uh, I realized how it's not the same for many people. And uh, I don't know if it's my experience with human design or what it is, but I, but I was able to get out of that. And uh, of course, human design helps a lot. It's, it's a great tool for pretty much yeah. anything. Yeah. And, uh, you know, sometimes people look at human design and they see, oh, it's the next thing I will have to pay attention to. And the way I say, the way I speak about it, it's not like it's the next thing you have to learn and pay attention to. It's yeah. that thing which will, which will make everything else you do in your life more efficient. Yeah. Uh, can I ask you a question, uh, Jakob? In your community, in, in uh, I guess you also have an uh, as you you know you you uh, teach at Human Design Americas, which is an online uh, platform, mm -hmm. uh, I guess. But but uh, how do you experience uh, your network of of uh, uh, work with Human Design? Are they all into? So we said, are they aware of twenty twenty seven, or or are they curious about that question, or? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, more on the international level because people that, um, that speak English obviously know something about it to various degrees. Not so much on the, on the level of Czech Republic because uh, basically I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much, uh, I was until recently pretty much the only certified teacher. I just certified to, to uh, friends and women who are teaching OID now, but, uh, and I never, I never really spoke about it publicly. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's not like many questions coming from them, but on the international level, obviously. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and people are interested. And so, yeah, I mean, th it is a question that that's coming up and, um, you know, personally, uh, the way I deal with it, uh, is that I just, you know, say, well, it just even more emphasizes the need for strategy and authority. Yeah, exactly. Because that's what it's all about. So exactly. it's like, you know, there is no need to worry about what's coming up. You know, what we need to do is to focus on what's happening right now, actually. Yeah. And, uh, and that's actually one of the reason, like the main reason why I invite, uh, accepted the invitation to come to, uh, to the festival, because, uh, uh, I just feel I, I, I want to share a message. I'm a two, four like you, you know, so I have yeah, a message yeah, to share. Missionary. And exactly. And I just, even since I started studying human design, you know, 14 years ago, actually, I was always thinking about, well, this is great, but how do I actually make it? Like, how do I actually yeah. get to live through my strategy and authority? And it's been quite a journey of me discovering what it means to be in response, especially for an MG. It's, yeah. it's not as easy as you know, right? I can and, imagine uh, you also kind of have a clear cut response mechanism like me and then the Yeah. I yeah. remember it, it took me nine years, I think, before it actually said click where where you know, if before that it was a process, you know, but there was some you know, there was some lapses on that journey where I, you know, where I really had to sacrifice my mental decision making for the experiment and I did, but it, it took time. But yeah, I, I'm really happy that you can uh, bring that to the festival. Uh and you're also approached to not self. I mean, you're part of the Genoa's uh, fractal, and, and uh, you know, I, I really appreciate but both of you communicate. I mean, as bringing a kind of a pragmatic, loving uh, dimension into the teaching of this knowledge. I really appreciate that a lot. Yeah, thanks. Well, this this is really you know, I was always focused on like, how do I get to live it out? And of yeah. course, at the beginning, I had no idea what the response is, so I just kept studying human design, and I just you know, I just totally gave up on understanding what the response is. And gradually, it started to grow. The understanding just came in in certain shifts or waves, as you know, as I would say. Uh, but then I tried to understand other authorities and what it means, for example, to have a you know emotional authority and so on. So. One of my uh, things that I want to bring to festival really is this, this workshop, which I call the authority embodied to actually guide people into their body to tune into how the authority actually speaks, because it's, it's not like some kind of a, you know, uh, 
a radio message from dim dimension X, you know, we experience it through our body. It, yeah. it happens yeah. in our body. It's, it's an energy that happens in our body. So where in your body, how can you actually, how, you know, where is it happening? How do you recognize it? What would yeah. you call it? Exactly. You know, and how can you pay attention to it? You know, that's, that's something that I really want to do because I think that's, that's really the, the practical thing that we can yeah, yeah, yeah. do with this. And, uh, and I'm really looking forward to that. And yeah. as you were saying, you know, the not self is another thing because it's, uh, you know, we, the not self, first of all, not self always takes energy and attention. It just takes, you know, yeah. and if I were to quote Geno, as you, as you brought him up, my, my dear, dear friend and teacher and, and director of human design America, you know, he says, uh, the not self thinks that it's conditioning is the most important thing in the world, you know? So we, we typically pay too much attention to where we are in our not self or where other people are in our, in their not self, you know, like, like tracking it. And it's, it's cool to see the chart and say straight away things like, oh, you're always trying to avoid confrontation and always in a hurry, you know, yeah. thinking about things that are not always, you know, really important to you. Just picking on my chart over here. But the, the point is like, well, what can you do and, and how can you do it? So, you know, that's, that's what I'd like to bring, you know, as even in re response to the 2027 question, it's really like, okay, but how do you get to live your design? What does it mean for yeah. you specifically? Yeah. Where in your body can you feel it? Where, yeah. where do you recognize the response or how do you recognize the splenic intuitive yeah. hit? Yeah. That's, that's why I'm coming. And I'm, of course, I'm Great. looking forward to meet other people. I'm teaching online, but I also taught many classes here uh, in Czech Republic live over the course of last 10 years. So uh -huh. I've experience with uh, in-person seminars and it's great. So I'm looking forward to it. Thanks great. for being invited. Yeah. I'm looking forward to your impact, uh, Jacob, uh, a lot. Thanks, thanks a lot. We will uh, give you an opportunity to speak in the end also. Uh, let's come to okay. Dirk. Yeah. I'll ask to start your video, Dirk. Hey there. Hey. Hey, my hey. friend. Here we are again. I just, uh, before you start, I, I mean, I, I'm thinking of all the things I wanted to say in the beginning. It's okay. I, I would have used too much time, but it's so amazing to be here. I mean, it's, I think this is the closest thing we get to time traveling somehow. I mean, we, we have people here from the United States uh, all over to Japan, you know, and Asia and all the spectrum. So, uh, it's a real pleasure. But yeah, over to you, Dirk. Um, yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah, the question is like, uh, how do I experience it? Um, I mean, you, you can just, I mean, uh, I, it's a guideline, you know, and, and uh, but yeah, 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 but comes there out, is many, the thing is like, there's many, 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 many aspects to how yeah. the hell I experience this stuff. It's, uh, it's very interesting to see. Like, uh, there's obviously my own experience. Like, like you know, my, I mean, not so long ago, I was again, I was talking with a friend who was talking about human design and stuff. And, um, I mean, that's what design can like if I have to boil down the essence of design for me, it's actually, it is able to give me my experience. Like what's really yeah. my experience yeah. in yeah. all of this. And then the moment it's about my experience, then I start seeing, okay, I'm not that, I'm not that, I'm not that, I'm not that. Mm -hmm. it's, it, 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 it brings me into a learning process, basically. Yeah. There is obviously all of the, like I'm looking at the, I cannot avoid looking at the transit, so just feeling like, oh, okay. And I was pretty impacted actually by, by the 60th gate. I have the third gate. So when those, uh, when Jupiter and Saturn entered into the 60th gate, I was, I was really feeling like, oh, what, a, what a weird feeling to be stuck somehow, like something is changing inside and I don't really know what, and I ended up sleeping quite a lot which is not really my my usual habit um and something seems to be mutating at some level or another inside yeah. of myself there is something is changing okay what is this well we'll see what it is um then obviously like sometimes i go out for i mean we, in spain we're pretty locked down so you know basically up until short short a while ago it was basically going out for shopping Mm -hmm. 
and uh, to see and feel the collective and to see how they are basically just relying on stuff that is out, out there like i can feel it in the frequency it's incredible you know, yeah. how 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 what insecure and I, I was actually glad that the you know andrea was mentioning that was also in the first color like you know that this this motivation of fear that it explains a lot yeah. it, it, at the same time it's very interesting it makes one very present huh? yeah so um yeah, like the, those are aspects that I'm looking at. And then from a, basically because I'm <coughs> locked in here, mm-hmm. um, I've been amusing myself um, uh, writing a theater play. Like, yeah. um, and I, can I just uh, can I just pause you there for a second because that's what you bring to the festival also this year. I mean, you you're bringing your teachings through through a human design theater where we will, uh, during that week, have basically a, a group uh, that you practice, basically, get into your role, and then we will perform it in the end. So, so uh, I guess it's going to be some kind of role-playing, and uh, that sounds amazing way to teach uh, or to learn human design. Yeah, like my perspective on that has been, and I think you know, something that I share with many other reflectors is uh, it's all about the experience. Like it's about ex- experiencing. If there's an experience, then I can grasp it and we can play with it. And, you know, basically I found that my experience at least is that so much of human design is still left oriented teaching. No, so mm-hmm. I, I noticed that the, the moment you put somebody, you elevate somebody 20 centimeters from the ground and you put them uh, to do something, you know, whether a roll or you know, play or whatever it is, then all of a sudden, you know, the, basically the insecurities come up. You know, here's my open ego I'm trying to show myself or here's my, I'm afraid to confront this and that. Like all of a sudden it's all there and, and mm-hmm. then it becomes more easy to work with. Um, and and there is for me there's more fun in it so um yeah like i've been i i was looking i've always been intrigued by the faces of the godhead because i find that that aspect of design gives a very like there's story in there and there is mythology in there and it's 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 wider and vaster and i like this kind of stuff yeah and um so at some point I was looking at the wheel and I was like, "Wow, oh, that's interesting. Like it, it basically this global cycles, we, we've been looking at it mainly through the perspective of, okay, cross of planning is changing into um, the cross of the sleeping Phoenix and stuff. And then I was like, well, but wait a second, actually all of those Godheads, they change. Like, it, it, you know, for, as a pattern it's it's like okay for a thousand six hundred and forty seven years the cross of planning belongs to mitra and mitra is changing to kali and then and, you know all of the godheads of the of the of the vessel are changing and all of the the godheads are changing so i i started to amuse myself by by going back um all the way to the 379 AD and to see oh, yeah. what happened you know what's been happening what's really been the influence of these of, of these that's what uh, yeah. yeah I mentioned that when I talked to Dashana before yeah, kind of coming into the conversation we had last time that was that was interesting to, for me also to to get a I, by the way I just want to comment that also the, the video you've done so far uh, kind of explaining this really complex stuff of global cycles uh, I think you're doing a really uh, good job for me, at least, as uh, I have open awareness centers and I kind of I can process it. Uh, but it was interesting that that you mentioned that, that this this mutation isn't just a contemporary one. I mean, it, it's a huge uh, shift. So, yeah, if you see that there, for so long, actually, specific specific chemistries have been more highlighted as, as such because there's obviously a lot of uh, correlation to amino acids and all that kind of stuff through the godheads and um and i the, I, I set up this play in a way of like okay let's i mean put four godheads at the table that represent the, the cross of the vessel 
for these past 1,647 years. And you see there, and they're basically all very social in a way. You know, they, they're all here like I'm learning from you and it's all about like us and harmonious relationships and you know, the, the richness of life and you know, all this Lakshmi stuff and then all this Promethean kind of like, okay, let's, let's basically try to learn and get new ideas and get new insights and all this kind of stuff. Huh? And then all yeah. of a sudden you change the stage and you put the four next ones on and they're all very individual. Yeah. They're all, like all of the frequencies are, are incredibly changing. And the, 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 the presence, I mean, this is obviously just my perspective that I'm playing, it's a play more than anything else now, but it's like seeing, wow, like all of a sudden, instead of Mitra and Lakshmi, and Harmonia and Prometheus sit at the table, you've got Kali. It's yeah. all about rebirth and, and like taking away false devotions in people. There is Hades, which is all about death. There is Maya, which can basically be compared to a, a, like a, I don't know, a, a mother jaguar that tries to uh, save her young when there is some kind of peril in the air. Yeah. And then there is uh, Toth. And then, you know, I was looking into all of that and how I was speaking about how there's there another also a neo-matriarchal revival taking place and all the kind of stuff. And it's interesting to feel those frequencies come into the, the like our field of, uh, of awareness slowly, slowly. You know? And it, it really yeah. shows like, oh, like this change is big. You know, it, it yeah. not like this coronavirus from my perspective i mean and with all due respect i think it's 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 maybe just an appetizer in some way or another you know there is there is uh there's a lot of stuff that is gonna fly towards us like i i assume that the moment you know pluto starts entering into the 68th gate and those three planets that are there like pluto and jupiter and and saturn they're all in this godhead that has to do with underlying structures this uh, hidden yeah. stuff that is not seen but that keeps everything together in some way or another and it's all crumbling 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 down and at the same time there is neptune in the 22nd gate you know boosting misinformation on who's worth listening to i mean yeah. so much is going on right now that oh, do i listen to this one or to that one or this is going on and let's not listen there and let's not go there like it's interesting to see how that all plays out in a way you know? yeah. so um yeah that that's the way i'm i'm, I'm looking at it i'm not trying to <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> it's, it's fun. It's, that's great it's, chair, it's chair great chair Dirk. But at the same uh, time, like obviously following my own, following my, yeah. my strategy is, is just like, okay, now I'm here. Is anybody initiating me to go anywhere else? Okay. If that's so, I'll take my time and, and see how that sits inside of me and then move. Like there is no big deal in that sense. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's how I see it. And, and you know, being present is 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 interesting like i, I find it even interesting like I, I, touching to me to hear i hear darshana share about how it, you know she feels for her family and i can feel it's touching you know it's like oh you know it allows us to be more present and to feel like oh, okay you know my affection is there and all these kind of stuff Thank you, Dirk. Uh, thanks for your uh, transmission there. Uh, we will move on uh, to Pavaka now. We will return to you in the end also, Dirk. Uh, by the way, I think uh, you, you, your movement with your body might uh, create a little bit microphone. Uh, oh. But uh, yeah, just keep it in mind to next time. I didn't want to interrupt you uh, while we were talking. Thanks a lot, Dirk. Uh, appreciate uh, to have your presence here. All right. Pavaka. All right. Yeah. Hey. Party on. Party on. <laughs> Ray one. Ray one. Uh, yeah. I, if I may have the, just opportunity to put you into the context, you've also been a there, patron of the festival since the start, and and uh, you brought your manifestor energy last year, and uh, yeah, you also bring uh, such an impact to the whole thing. So I'm really happy to uh, be. Uh, 
be in a, uh, dancing in the human design uh, dance with you. Yeah, same here. I love dancing with you. The individual, mutative, what's next step uh, dance. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And yeah, and I do want to say the festival was an amazing journey for me last year. And um, it was it was very mutative, really, mm -hmm. I felt. I, well, I am a mutation, but one of the things that happened to me in the festival is that I realized mutation is not something that happens to me. Like, uh, you know, I, I went, I used to say, I went through a mutation, you know, or I'm going yeah, through yeah. a process. Yeah. But what happened to me in the festival, I was in this, yeah, in this process as I always am. And I emotional, realized, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I realized, well, you know, I am the mutation and suddenly, uh, suddenly something happened, you know, the mundane, I'm a 22, just, just being the mutation in the mundane, it's ongoing. And this is what I feel in the world right now. It's wow. so crazy. And I'm a five one, so I'm totally in the net and I have a different narrative for what's going on. So I see, you know, the virus is a very small thing. I see the structures crumbling. I see people yeah, waking yeah. up to the fact that there is no one they can trust out there because the news yeah. is lying yeah, to them yeah, and the numbers right. are wrong. Right. And, you know, and their governments don't know what to do. And it, who knows I mean, if their government sorry, it, it, are not it, it, doing this? Yeah, you know? but it's, per I mean, it's, it's kind of like perfect, you know, it that ultra, uh, ultra authority is just breaking it down is, totally, is, you know. You have to trust yourself. Sorry for interrupting you. Go. I love this. <laughs> and, um, and so I've been diving into the net in different perspective. And for me, it's all a story, but it's a very interesting symbolic story because I see how people, you know, have to kind of give up mind because mind is not working anymore. Yeah. Uh, it's just not working to try to understand, you know, what the story is. I mean, we can, you know, we can go into it and, and, and understand the story, but it's not going to tell us what to do. Yeah. And for someone who lives, you know, uh, inner authority, for me, inner authority is not something uh, that is inside me. It is me. I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm just moved by the program, you know, and I, and I watch this and I've been moved in, in very amazing ways at this time to kind of spread the, the human design virus. It was really strange. I had this feeling to give my LYD digital course and I just let it out and thousands of people started learning and, and somehow it came back as a tsunami and I worked like three times more than I usually do, which was pretty interesting. Yeah. But what I, yeah. what I realized is that this is the time, you know, this is the time that this knowledge is so needed. I just felt um, you know, inner authority. This is the time. You can all see mm -hmm. that nothing else is yeah. working, right? Yeah. That's and what so, I say to my uh, generator friends. In the, I'm the admin in the manifesting generator group. And, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's been a perfect gap to jump, kind of step into inner authority. Uh, at yeah. least for, for me, I mean, I've been 13 years into the process now. And, you know, it's, now it's just like, ah, it, it, it's, it's a relief you know uh so yeah. it's nice yeah it was actually um a very interesting time to kind of see uh very clearly how i live my life and how and how yeah. graceful uh it is and how grateful i am yeah. um for it um and and I feel it was a time to for, for everyone to kind of meet themselves. It's like there's nowhere you can run if you can't leave your house and everybody was was forced for a retreat, you know. Yeah, I'm a yeah, yeah. I'm a I'm a twelve in line one in my earth and I have it I have it three times in the chart and I'm you know, I'm the monk. I just go my one goes in, you know, and and, yeah. and I know this feeling and, and somehow you know, it was, it was, uh, the whole world went to, in, into this retreat Yeah. and I felt it in my, in my bones, in my DNA, you know, that something is happening and, uh, and that the structures are crumbling. I can feel the structures crumbling and, and I, I'm, you know, in the unknown, I'm watching what the new structures are um that are coming along and i feel it's very it very much has to do with the knowledge of human design if you look like dirk yeah. I, I i loved what dirk uh talked about the 
you know the godheads and the yeah. and the transits it's it's yeah. so beautiful to see how it all um how it all follows along you know the program it's cool uh, to hear it from a reflector also i mean i mean yeah it's amazing yeah. to learn from the type and i just want to yeah, a little opportunity to talk about the program this year. I mean, I'm really proud of it. We're going to do this uh, really exciting uh, Living Your Design workshop. And you're going to teach uh, the manifester part of that. And, uh, I, you know, I, I think it's going to be such an uh, amazing uh, uh, impact to work with that foundational knowledge. And another, just a little thing also, I mean, you are such an individual freak like me. And, uh, I mean, you, you're more individual than me with two definitions. But... You remarked on the festival also that it has and had this, this uh, mutative feel, and that was very clear for me actually in, in the up running to the festival. I, I got the vision in 2018 when I when I got to that exact place. So looking back at it, for me it was embedded in the place somehow that calling. And um, but I saw how the festival was a mutative force, and I have entered my human design journey with my first teacher uh, Richard Beaumont with the 360. I have the 214, so such a big part of my human design journey has been a mutation uh, in itself that, that I'm here to mutate. So, uh, yeah, happy to be talking to a mutative freak like yourself. Mm, <laughs> yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I'm looking forward for uh, September, seeing yeah. everyone again. Yeah, and exactly. I will be also bringing uh, the work of uh, what I call nine center uh, therapy, which is right. working with the centers, really going deep uh, into investigation and uh, uh, working okay. with tools that can help kind of uh, deal with the deconditioning process. Because what happens when we, you know, really stop and stop listening to our mind when it tells us what to do is that the, you know, the programs of the mind start coming up. And for me, that's Part of the magic of human design is meeting it because, yeah. you know, meeting it is meeting ourself. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, yeah. and it's a very profound work, uh, which is new. And yeah, and I'm looking forward to teaching it internationally. We're teaching it here in Israel, me and my projector uh, friend and colleagues, Madal. Um, and, and waiting to kind of uh, bring that forth into the into the communal aura Amazing. Amazing. so thank you Christo. thank you for this and for september and for the other festival and all the work that you're doing it's amazing my pleasure Pavaka. thank you so much for your recognition thank you so that was a manifester uh, initiating uh, further into the panel we will move now to uh, over to the projector group uh, and we are following now in uh, alphabetical order uh, as such. So uh, we are starting here with uh, Jada. Would you like to unmute yourself, uh, Jada? And uh, here you are. Nice. Very, very Hello, good. Everyone. Hello, Turkey. <laughs> Hello. Remember Hello. this when I, when I was young, I remember this uh, Grand Prix. Uh, Melovision Grand Prix in, in Europe and they had these uh, judges coming in from all the countries and they were like, so France, how many points do you give? So Turkey, what's the decision? <laughs> how is it in Turkey, by the way, now uh, in all this? Uh... Um, it's all good, actually. Uh, I'm living in Istanbul and Istanbul is a really big city, very crowded city. Uh -huh. And all the people are locked down in the house. And even it's, it's still locked down here. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. It's a religious holiday here in Turkey. Uh, yeah. Bubarek, maybe you heard it. And all the people are locked down in Turkey, everywhere in Turkey, every <laughs> single city. And um, yeah, uh, this is actually what I would like to talk about. Yeah. Uh, but first, if you let me to introduce myself for the people. Please, please, I, 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 I love that. You do it, please, please, please. Um, hello everyone from Istanbul, Turkey. And uh, my name is Jada Latus. Uh, I'm two force planning energy projector, rock of explanation, as you see. Um, I'm LID guide and BG5 analyst. And um, this is my seventh year in human design. 
And as Ra says, we are all locked in a fixed geometry in this life. And I love to discover all this fixed geometry with human design since the seventh year. And um, you're two four also. Yeah, I'm two four also. <laughs> love two fours uh, completely. And uh, I am so glad to meet you all here with my tribe, with my human design people. It's yeah. great. And first of all, I would like to thank you for that, Chris, for this organization and all, and to your great team and uh, our great teachers also, uh, Darshna, Andrea, Jakub, and all the other precious teachers uh, gathering mm -hmm. here tonight. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, for others also who join us today and hope to see you in Human Design Festival hopefully yes yes um as i told you there's not much left to say actually uh-huh that's fine that's fine uh-huh <laughs> that's fine and, uh, it's, uh, i mean but uh, uh, one thing i would i would like to point out uh, yes. the word that we use a lot lately you know the social distance word yeah and maybe we should use uh physical distance will be more convenient to describe what we live today because social distance makes people feel like, you know, not connected. Yeah. And uh, as Ra says, we are all connected. Yeah. And uh, I would like to uh, say his precious words just to, you know, thank you. Please, to, bring them in. Um, we are living in a conditioning environment even if there's an illusion of separateness we are not separated and tonight uh, you yeah. let us this opportunity to meet you all guys and uh, if you have any questions I can reply but this is all I thank you Jai. That, thank you that's an amazing recognition from you I, I get goosebumps and uh, that just is, this is another chapter of this meeting as you say I mean okay we are meeting now uh, on the, in these very special times and it all seemed to synchronize uh, you know with the festival and, and, and the themes and everything but part of this is what I personally take joy in is just com connecting with you guys I mean no yeah. matter if you're a teacher or uh, just a student whatever you are a uh, human and sign lover I just I just simply love to connect with the people so uh, whatever yeah. uh, good uh, opportunity I have uh, to do that uh, I take deep pleasure in that Thank you, Jada. Yeah. Nice to hear You're from welcome. you. You're welcome. See you soon, hopefully. See you soon, hopefully. Yes, yes, we are going for it. I'm, I'm feeling my circle. Uh, it, it's, it's somehow uh, seeing it somehow. So I... I uh, yeah, we'll uh, see. Uh, as human beings, we love to watch, right? Yeah, we watch yeah. movies, we watch television, we watch our lives, we are observer. Yeah. And we'll see what's going to be next. And we will see. We will be together. Yeah, thank hopefully. you yeah. for this opportunity. Thank you, Jada. Thank you, Jada. Bye. Super nice Bye. to hear from you. Bye bye. Ah, well, my old friend Don. You are live, my friend. Good, good. Good. I will also uh, request your video there. I saw you yeah. there with a bear glass before uh, when you entered. Uh, I think that was a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hey on. We, we, we go way back. Uh, you were there uh, when I, I believe it was, was 2007 actually when I met okay. you uh, and participated in the first LYD with you. Yep, tenderfoot. So, so we've known each other for 13 years, Don. Uh, that's uh, pretty amazing. Yeah, brilliant. Anyway, so yes. um, <clears throat> if you want to know what I'm sort of offering and when I'm thinking about 2027. Please, I, I, just to inform the audience here, uh, we have another, I have added uh, this one. Uh, should we yes. come to this now or? I can mention that straight away. Why not? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, because I've run, been running the charts from here to the beginning of 2027. And this is this is the chart for 2027, I believe. Yeah. Is this um, uh, gate 41? Yeah, yeah. Great 41, of course, the first line. But also yeah. we get it in Pluto, 41.4. And I was so, interested... So, so, uh, just one second, Don. I just want to give the framework for the audience here. Because I talked to Don before this. Uh, 
uh, he wants to bring this into this. Uh, you know, it's countdown to 2027. This is a chart from 2027, basically, and uh, yes. I don't want to give an input on that. Thank you, Don. Continue. Yes, I won't be talking much about it, just to mention that it's quite unusual to get the 41 twice, and Pluto's entered it after the 60, uh -huh. and it's gradually working through the gates, and Pluto is about truth. And the 41.4 is very interesting to me, um, you know, because it, it, what it says, I'm just looking for my notes here, <laughs> um, that's, it's about correction. And this is, this is when we're entering that year 2027, correction. Successful adaptation to limitation, survival of the fittest, or holding onto things rather than adapt and the detriment. So, why? Uh, Don, sorry. To... Don, could you repeat that? Sorry to interrupt you, but I think the sound got a bit uh, muffled. Uh, can, can you say it again, the, the actual uh, uh, gate uh, keynoting? Definitely, yeah. 41.4, correction. It's about successful adaptation to limitations. Yeah. And what I'm thinking is that by we get to the, that 2027, there will be limitations everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you get to survival of the fittest is in the positive side, if you like. And the detriment is it holds on to feelings rather than adapt. So there are the people who are, will all be feeling something or other. A lot of people will, will prefer not to adapt, but just to have feelings, just to feel bad, to feel fearful, to wow. whatever. You know, so this is, so the Pluto is going to tell us some truths by this time. There's also another interesting thing for me, and I'm not going to go over much more of this because you know time is short for you guys. Yes. We've got a lot of people to get through. <laughs> we but have a, yeah, 30, yeah, exactly. The Earth is 31 1, and it's in the detriment. Now, it's in the detriment every year. It's in 2021, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. It's in the 31 1, and that is about the unnatural expression of leadership okay so every year we're going to get the unnatural expression of leadership you know so that is to me that's showing what we're already getting with yeah. you can think of all kinds of leaders around the world president xi trump you know all kinds of people bolsonaro i could go on and on um but they they're all already expressing this yeah they are authoritarian they want to have it all their own way they want to be president for life or something you know there's some weird stuff going on yeah yeah and so we're going to see this which is going to be part of that breakdown of the institutions that yeah. we have come to trust and use yeah and it's also going to be hospitals it's going to be businesses it's going to be transport all kinds of things are going to the wheels are going to drop off yeah okay so this is what we're going to see um so i won't go any more about that the other thing i wanted to present really was about being a projector because that's what we're here for. Yeah, and can I just remark one thing there, Don? Thank sure. you for this information. That was uh, golden mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, you, you were at the festival last year also, and that's yeah. what you also presented there. During our projector day, we, we like to have a theme for each day and a focus on each type uh, during the festival. And, yeah. and uh, I, I think it's amazing just your experience with human design. I mean, you, you knew Raw also, and, and uh, yeah. go way back, and uh, being in the community and, and in your in your process, I mean, I think you're well past Chiron. I'm, you, I guess you're at the next one, uh, the, the hidden yeah, one. Yeah. It's amazing yeah. to have you here, Don, and uh, thank you for that. Thank you for oh, your presence. Yeah. yeah, no, so it's, it's going to be really good. Um, I, don't know if it, I did send you something about the projector thing. What it is really is that the projector aura, the way the projector operates is it has this sampling aura that reaches out like a lighthouse. So I have a picture of a lighthouse. Yeah. Um, yeah. And whether we get that or not, it doesn't matter. But so we've got a picture of a lighthouse, and then I'm, I'm going to go through the different areas in which projectors need to operate and how they operate. So this is going to be really sort of practical, basic stuff. I mean, and the other, there's lots of interesting things, but if you don't get your design and you are not living it, it's meaningless, actually. You know. So this is why uh, there was a question right at the beginning. What difference does it make if you have your strategy and authority? What's the changes? Yeah. Using the basic keys of human design, 
like your get your strategy right and use it get yeah. your authority really feel it get to sensitive up be sensitive with it yeah. and really really make your life hang on that okay so this is what i will be talking about how to be doing that yeah. us projectors yeah. are here to guide but we can't guide or lead without other people recognizing that we could offer something so we need to tune ourselves up as projectors and the other guys the generators the manifestors the reflectors also need to recognize that we are the ones who actually do the observing just as uh, the other lady was saying just a bit earlier we do the observing and we have so much to offer it can only be unlocked if someone says i think you could help us here or i'd love you to come in on this project or whatever it is they're going to say a real invitation not just oh why don't you come along you know, yeah, that's yeah. good enough <laughs> I, I agree. You know, yes. we're not just turning up I mean, that, that's in, what we also learn from the knowledge. I mean, the, the projector yeah. uh, invitation needs to be formal. And I, mean, I guess that there's nuances because when I, when I guess a projector can see an opening or not, but, but it really needs to not just be an opening. It needs to be formal in the sense that, you know, the more formal it, it is from the recipient, uh, typically the energy type uh, generator or manifester, the more it's formal, I would, I would, I, the, the more aware they are of the whole situation and in that sense the projector can get what they're, they're here to, to, to get the recognition and the support and, and the material uh, uh, underlining of it yeah Indeed. Great and but our, and our great joy as a projector is to see other people like yourself I was so pleased to see you take that festival on last year and with your <laughs> two four <laughs> and all the other things just do it just do it yeah. and yeah, yeah. to support that gives me great joy you know Thank you, as long as i can get there will give me enormous joy and all great. the other people uh -huh. you know it's that's how it is we don't want to be brave or famous or anything special we just want to help you other guys that's yeah. all we want to yeah. do yeah. because we can see something that yeah. could help yeah so i mean you have to ask us I, 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 you know, I, I when mean, I talk to projectors, I always say you guys, and 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 I seem to be allowed to do that. But but since the beginning in my journey with human design, projectors has been there, uh, un proportionally odd, shall we say? They've been there seventy percent of the time. I, I've, I've received so much guidance, uh, and, and and you know, uh, I benefited a lot from that, and and I, uh, I, I think you know, there's so many revelations with this knowledge, but just. The, the, you know the, the the de facto revelation that takes place when I meet a projector who don't yet know their design and I have the opportunity and the instant recognition they give nine out of ten times it, it's just remarkable and, and you know it, it, that's a dawning of itself. Uh, oh yes. 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 Oh yeah. No, that's that's brilliant. You know, and it's just quite interesting. For example, I, I have a reflector partner um, for, for many years now. Um, and it's just wonderful to be in that relationship because the reflectors, I just had a little message from Nisarg. You know, there's Dirk, Dirk is here. There are seven other reflectors apparently yes. um, in the audience somewhere. Yes. The, these are really important people. We can help them give whatever they have to give. I just feel, you know, it's just so lovely that we can be in this position so long as people recognize. Would you say that um, for you, uh, being in a relationship with a reflector, does a reflector function, I mean, quote unquote, a little bit as a guiding tool for a projector? Or, or, or is it the projector who, who still guides the reflector? How does that work out? <laughs> That's a funny one. That really is interesting. We're still working on it. <laughs> <laughs> still agreeing on it. <laughs> but we are agreeing most of the time. Good, it, good, it, good. Because See, she is so insightful. She sees stuff, but we're very much in tune. So yeah. she maybe accepts what I'm saying, but not always. She she will, you know, draw a line. She yeah. say, no, no, that's not it. Yeah. Whatever. You know, it's very, very fruitful. Yeah. Um, what's going on? And it's just lovely. I'm so grateful to and I I she I gave her her first reading and it changed ah. her life. Wow. And it, many years after that we actually got together. Wow, you know, amazing, amazing. Because so she, she just, <laughs> I just hung in there. She said, <laughs> "This person changed my life. I need to get together with him." I think that's actually I mean. that's a little bit like me, you, 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 and uh, my my relation to you, Don. We yeah, met also many, many times uh, yeah. last year. It was many times. It was twelve, thirteen years since the first time, and then you were part of the lead. And uh, it was true, funny. How, it was fu it was funny how we met there, just on that boat uh, oh, by accident. Crazy. almost. 
I'll tell you, I'll tell you what though. <laughs> now she's a reflector. When I got back to tell Pat about the journey, by the time I had finished explaining and des describing being on, on the bus, on the car, <laughs> on the plane, on, on the coach, on, on the boat, yes. on the horse and cart, <laughs> yeah, she yeah. fainted. Yes. She said, I don't know how you could do that. <laughs> yes, yes. If, if people want to know more about uh, the festival, uh, I can just remind the audience that, that I will be available tomorrow to go in depth. And, and uh, yeah, it is a journey to get to the festival. So we have to be honest about that. But, but, uh, but worthwhile. Worthwhile. Yes, it's worthwhile. Thank you, Don, <laughs> for your input there. I appreciate to see you again, my old friend. Yeah, that'll do. That's me done for the moment. Thank you very much. We will continue yeah. to the next uh, projector in the panel here. Great to have you guys here. Oh, there we have Anita. Hello here. Hello, hello. Hey. Christo, before we'll start, may you let in Lucrecia? Uh, I'll check it. Uh, thank yeah. you. Yes. Hey, Anita, you are. Um, do you have a DVD here? Yes. Wait a minute. There we are. Hey. Hello. So if I can maybe just start to give the people, also the teacher panel and everyone, I mean, you are, uh, you, you uh, are uh, working with me in the festival and we've been working with the festival uh, for a long time now. And uh, yeah, uh, the bits and grits of it. You're also a projector and you, you proved really valuable for me in, in this process also. Uh, uh, last year, you know, that was the first production of the festival and, and it was important for me that the team is growing and I can get more, I need more people to work with so it can develop and with you it has really gotten that, uh, those legs. So yeah, thank, thank you. For you. That, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, Krista, that you invited me. And yeah, I'm really glad, I'm really happy about this process, how we are working and uh, I'm happy to help you as much as I can. <laughs> yes, you have been a very good help. So uh, let's get into the, um, say, maybe you want to say a little bit about, uh, you're from Lithuania, as we can see, and, and uh, you know, maybe you want to describe the Lithuanian human design community, how it's... Uh... Yes, hello to everyone. Yes, I'm from Lithuania and um, actually in my country, human design is not a very well-known system, but Yes, yeah, so we're working on that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there are some people who are working with human design in my network. And, um, you know, people are getting more and more information uh, from somewhere. And uh, actually, in our country, there are summer festivals. And as I know, they invited some foreign uh, teachers to the festivals, you know, and uh -huh. that's how they are spreading the system in my country. Uh -huh. So, uh, do you have the? Uh, are you Russian speaking? Uh, uh, the, yes, uh, Victoria is coming, as I know. Um, uh -huh. This here, right, Victoria. Yes, and, she's in the panel. Uh -huh. Yes, she is in the panel too. So maybe twice a year, if I'm right, <laughs> she will. She can. Right. Tell right. You. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And some others from Belarus, I guess. Mm -hmm. I, I noticed one teacher is coming too, so. And I think we match a very good team if you just see our uh, incarnation crosses. You, you, you <laughs> on the vessel of love and I'm on, I'm on the sphinx. So, so we, we are very much on a direction uh, in what we're doing. So I really appreciate that. Yes, I yes. like this, this work and I really like to work with you, you know, cause in business world, there is no possibility to work in a flow. And I'm learning from you how to work in the flow and, you know, based on, on your energy. And yeah, it's interesting. Thank you for bearing with me. I, I know I, mean, I have abstract definition, individual and abstract. I mean, can you imagine I'm an abstract freak? So oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Edita. Anything more you want to share or should we continue into the panel or? Yes, I just want to thank you to everyone. I'm really happy to see such a great team and uh, so many teachers. Uh, and I'm really waiting for the festival and hope to come. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I, I, I just have used the opportunity now also for everyone, basically. I mean, of course, we, we are going for the festival, but of course, there's uncertainty in the air. 
uh, from a, a local perspective. I, I am from Norway, but I live in Romania. It's, it's a couple of years now, and uh, here in Romania, they are uh, continue to lifting the restrictions. So the, the quarantine, uh, the lockdown, basically ended uh, for a week ago. Um, Romania is a very important country. Uh, the airline is very important for them. They have a lot of uh, working uh, immigrants, basically, that works in, in England and uh, all over Europe. So uh, all of the low-cost airlines are opening their, their traffic again. And from August, events uh, past 500 people will be allowed. So technically, it looks like it. I know that in a bit different states around Europe, they have a bit different conditions uh, on traveling and stuff. In Norway, I know that... Uh, from August, the government is uh, uh, lifting the um, sort of lockdown there to travel, but from August, they, they uh, can advise to do international travel again. So let's move on to Johan. Johan, my friend, there we are. I have to just, uh, before we, we get going, Johan, uh, you have been a very valuable uh, patron and uh, co-organizer of the festival. Uh, you living also here in Romania in Bucharest, and uh, it's been a, such a, a, a it's been such a joy uh, uh, cooperating with you. You know, merging and also independently that uh, you are working very much with the Romanian network. You've done a tremendous effort there, translating Linda's book, offering your network. You know, a real. Uh, a really valuable tool to, to learn this knowledge and you're offering a lot of classes and stuff so i'm really really impressed uh Johan. nice to uh, work with you yeah thank you thank you christo for the recognition and i'm also actually very grateful for putting romania in in the map of human design of the international human design so yeah we keep doing yeah. that uh, my friend we do <laughs> yes yeah, i'm very glad for that actually yes. and it's my all my energy here to support I mean, and to transmit so <laughs> if i'm allowed just to say a little bit about uh, i think we talked about this before but when i received the vision uh, for the festival that's when i arrived to romania in 2018 and it was interesting for me at some point i could see from a genetic point uh, of view somehow why uh, i mean again the physics of no choice why the festival took place there uh, and, and, you know, Romania has this very interesting genetic population uh, for a European uh, population. The, the genetic spectrum is very broad. Uh, so I could see it from that point that you have a festival, you know, that, that is aiming at people living their individuality genetically. This is a very good environment. And of course, I mean, the, the, the Danube, the Black Sea is just gorgeous here in Romania. So. Romania yeah. is an undiscovered pearl for many, I think. So I'll, I won't take your time, Johan. Uh, please continue. You, you are talking about Romania, so I'm just glad. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So yes, uh, and it's, um, well, my job here, actually, it has been somehow given to me to, 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 to do this human design as much as I can in Romania, and it's, I, I can see this flowering here, so that, that's a good like recognition for me. And of course, it's also the work of Liliana. And, and well, what I try to do here in Romania is actually do what I can do best, that, that is showing that human design is practical. It's not mumbo jumbo, but it's about really the body. It's about really tuning into your body. And this is what I have been doing lately. Like, how do you really tune into your body? Because it's not mental stuff. It's the body yeah, that counts. Yeah, yeah. So this is my message. This is my transmission. Great, great. I mean, I'm glad you bring that up because, I mean, there is to our festival, uh, uh, two, uh, shall we say, very ingrained paths in the festival. As I see, uh, I have a long-term vision. I think we will grow for many years and gather more people. But, but there is this mutation that is part of it. Uh, the, I can also see in retrospect that the, the, the festival takes place now, you know, seven years before the change. So 2027 is such a big part of the festival. We will have lectures and, uh, of course, discuss that. But 
you know, the most important thing is, is to the living your design experiment, you know, the foundation exactly. of thing to be in the body. And I think having both of them creates a very unique environment that we are in. And, uh, you know, we are, we are shooting up into, you know, uh, thinking about the future, but we're keeping grounded and uh, into authority, into our form and our bodies. Yes. And, and this is actually what I have been experimenting like this with this coronavirus situation, because, because I'm here to support people and I'm here to give them like really uh, well being and to really like transmit this well being. Mm -hmm. And I see this how it works with me actually because I'm a caveman. Yeah. Right? So, so I lost weight. <laughs> I could get rest, and I got a lot more work than I that I would do because I really work better when I'm in this away from all the people. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so then, yeah, it has been a great lesson for me this one. Yeah. How did, I, how, how, did, how did you experience? Has, you, has there been more people coming to you uh, requesting your... Yes. Yeah. yeah uh, ha, there has been like an increase of... I've been doing uh, readings like crazy last month, actually. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's getting... People are trying to be more aware, which is a good thing. Yeah. Um, I also, because I see fear, right? Yeah. survival guys so i see fear all the time and i could really see all the fear <laughs> amazing uh, yeah. because if you're, you're not afraid of of the virus you're afraid because you're afraid because people put yeah, fear yeah. in you so this is yeah. also i've been noticing it I'm i mean seeing it, it. It was a bit uh, extreme, I guess, in the beginning here in Romania. It was a military lockdown. And I remember the first week, you know, they were <laughs> driving with these cars, saying something on the speaker in Romania. And you know, stay, I think, yes, it was staying inside, don't go out, you know, something like that. It was a bit, it was. Yeah. It, it, also good to notice actually how the, how the environment influences this, right? You go yeah. to these extremes, like you go to these fines that were something like, 4,000 euros, like really for Romania. Yeah. Like, you yeah. go out, you get a fine of 4,000 euros, really? <laughs> yeah. How to pay this? Right? Yeah. Really strange, right? And then, and then going back to this lower, like uh, 15, like three, two, and now you see people like resisting it and we don't want to be anymore like in your houses. Yeah, we yeah. have to go out. We have to do things differently. <laughs> Not very funny to notice it, just to just to observe how it's changed. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. So thank you very much, and I would like to welcome everybody to Romania. It's really an amazing country. So. Mm -hmm. I can I I'll vouch for that. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> thank yeah. you, Johan. Nice to hear from you. Okay. We will move on here to Julia Krakowa. Hey, you. Hello, hello. Here we are again. I do, uh, can I just ask you, I did some uh, adjustments to my mic. Is my sound okay with you? Or? Yeah. Good. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. So, emotional projector here. Yeah, I'm looking at this flag and I'm like, whoa, this is... I was born in Belarus, I have Israeli passport, and right now I'm in Slovakia. I had to choose one flag there, I, didn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't fit them all in there, you see. <laughs> exactly. It, it, it had promotional value for me at least. It's cool to have Belarus represented in our uh, nationality. I, 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 can I just comment that I think Belarus, Holland, and another country was one of the few countries that didn't engage into this full lockdown uh, hysteria. I, I saw in international news that the uh, Belarusian president or whatever was even like, ah, you know, to hell with these people and we will do it our way kind of thing. Is that true? Or? Yeah, it is true. And it's actually a really beautiful process because people started taking care of themselves. So he's kind of giving an advanced training because uh, uh, the rate of the virus is one of the highest, actually, in, uh, in the world. In but Belarus? Yeah, and, but he doesn't stop and he doesn't put the quarantine because he knows that the economic situation is really, uh -huh. really bad. So yes. people just going to starve and the revolution is going to start. So 
he's just going that way. And people try to organize themselves and basically the future that we are heading to when we're gonna move from collective to tribal, yeah, and kind of de-globalize is uh, happening yeah. right now. In yeah, I mean, that's so what I Ross says. I mean, we are entering after 2027, uh, the time of the role model, individual survival, and, and uh, yeah, maybe, Maybe he's kind of training his citizens like that. Is it basically the same approach as Sweden is, is taking to the, to the lockdown thing, basically? Or? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, Norway, you know, we are, we are a neighbor country to Sweden and, and uh, I shared Sweden. Norway did the opposite. Uh, Norway is very, you know, find a vaccine, uh, lockdown, and, and they kind of trash their economy. We have the oil fund, so, so we have, I guess we can afford it. But uh, it's been interesting to see the Norwegian media displaying the Swedish, basically, like very reckless and stuff like that. But uh, they're, they're, um, he's the chief epidem epidemiologist, and, and uh, he's pretty cool. And he's been there thick and thin and taking the criticism. And, and, uh, going for this uh, tribe uh, or herd Im immunity. But anyways, should we talk about something else also? Um, what, what's on your uh, feelings, Julia? You kind of got cut out for a second. Ah, I was, uh, was uh, opening the question to you basically. Uh, is there something do you, you feel like saying? Hello. Are you there, Julia? Are you there, Julia? I think we might have lost Julia. Let's see here. <laughs> Some piece internet. Uh, okay, let's just move on in the list here. Teresa, is, are you here? Hey. Oh, yeah. Hello. Let's just, let's just jump into them. We'll get back to Julia if she gets back. Uh, hey, Teresa. Hi, Crystal. Hi. I'm just going to give an information to Julia. She's back. I'm going to return uh, to you okay. after Julia. I will just talk to Teresa now. That is so funny. I was just like, I started talking and the rain just started pouring and everything uh. moving and that's uh -huh. quite crazy because... Okay, Teresa, was, I, I will, uh, Teresa I, will, I will continue with you. Uh, now Julia is here. I'll come back to you later, Teresa. Hey, Julia. I, I jumped to Teresa. I thought yeah, I lost you there for a I was. I really wanted to bring a picture. Uh, I don't know if I can do it and share my screen. Sure, we can try that if you want. You know, because that's the image I was thinking about. When I think about the future, what is it about? Is yeah. when you think about the body, you think about this, just like this mechanism, this, uh, this, uh, this bulb. And what is happening now, as I see it, is that the, the, the more thick field is changing, the neutrino stream is changing, and basically we are getting other kind of electricity through the body. And this yeah. strategy and authority mechanism is basically helping us to, 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 to prepare the body to go into this correct, uh, correct geometry for what? For being ready for change. Because if we're yeah. not, what's going to happen? We're going to get more electricity and the bulb is just going to explode. Yeah. And I guess what's happening now with the virus is exactly the same thing. The reason why older people are dying and people with already having diseases is that their bulbs are not ready to, to receive yeah. this bigger amount of energy. Hmm. Yes, so uh, what I was uh, planning on to bring to the festival is yeah. the, the survival through human design workshop where I go to every possible um, sphere of life and I started this journey actually way before I met human design, about 20 years ago. I started suddenly looking at the normal things in a not normal way and ask myself, like, how do I behave in the kitchen? How do I behave in the bedroom? 
How do I behave in the bathroom? How, what do I do? What is the correct way to go to toilet, you know? And suddenly, every time I was asking, and you know, I'm one three, and this is like investigation, investigation of what? Of the physical body. Uh-huh. So I came into the whole world of things that are just have no place in the collective narrative. Yeah. And uh, going, going through this layer by layer, finally I found a PHS, which brought all the things together and make it mm-hmm. clear mm-hmm. in the many levels. Yeah? So we know that the future is not about secrets anymore, like the cross of planning. It's not about naming things and looking for spirit. It's about being the spirit in the physical body, in this... In this machine, I mean, having this bulb as, as all you have. And what I see is that when before we were just into the light of the bulb and we were just focusing on what's in there, now we are looking at the bulb itself and we are here to kind of take a really, really, really good care of it. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I start working with... Um, with the sound healers and recording meditations for types, for centers, and really taking taking us on these deep journeys. And we're gonna release all that soon. And mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we're recording a beautiful, huge master course with my uh, manifester colleague, where we go through every possible dimension in human design. For what? For just getting in tune of the light and the bulb into mm-hmm. one bring them into <laughs> one good. i like it i like it I, I love projector influence. I mean, I, I, that's why I think it's exper- interesting with this experiment now to hear in from you. Uh, that's how my personal experience with you also. You are really working with you. It doesn't show the future, but we can kind of tune into it. Uh, and in many ways, it's mechanically. And then the, coming back to what you're saying, which is fascinating and very inspiring. I mean, we, we're made for this time, right? I mean, we're made for this change. We are we literally designed for this. So, so of course, there should be uh, an opportunity to enjoy it, you know, enjoy the movie. And then Ra says this over and over in time, you know, get into that passenger consciousness and just enjoy the ride. And uh, That's all we have, you know? That's all we Taking have. That's all we have. personally. There is this body and I have to, t- and I have to take care of it. Yeah. That's all I do, and yeah. it has its own needs, and exactly. I'm here to fulfill its needs in order mm-hmm. for me to have a more everything journey, you know, more vivid, more bright, more easy, more fulfilling, and whatever it is. And I love it, you know, when I was just like 20 years ago, start reading all the spiritual books, I found this thing they were saying, in the future, we're going to be able to read thoughts of each other. And I was like, what the heck are they talking about? And I see now, like, we start feeling each other so deeply, even through the internet, even through the screen. It's like almost touching aura. I mean, it's, it's not it's the true. same, but it's It's getting, true, it's true. I the mean, veil it's... is getting thinner and thinner and yeah. thinner. It's like, whoa, so what is there to do? It's to make your, your lamp more magical and what is to make it in, in tune, yeah, in tune and having solid foundation. Uh-huh. The rest is coming yeah. and we have no fucking idea what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Great, Julia. I love your testimony there. It was uh, amazing, amazing. Uh, we will move on. I see that we are actually a bit late on time, so I have to... Uh, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm hope it's okay uh, for people that we are running a bit over. It's, you know, well, how to limit you guys to five minutes when you have so much in- interesting to say. Um, would you stop? Uh, okay, I can stop sharing here. And we will move over to Teresa. Thank you a lot, uh, Julia. Nice to uh, have you here. I will go into my uh, presentation again. Hey, Teresa. There we are again. Hold on. Hello. Hello there. Uh, nice, yeah. nice to see okay. you again. Yeah, I'm very happy to be here. Uh-huh. Thank you for having me and also for inviting me to the festival. Uh huh. Well, it's a pleasure. Me, yeah, and giving me the opportunity to also, um, yeah, be amongst the teachers, <laughs> the uh-huh, guides. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's a pleasure for me to really be. 
we, we go uh, we go way back already in the internet community and uh, you've always been an inspiring uh, source uh, of the kind of clear and crisp transmission of this knowledge also so uh, i'm delighted that you will come and bring your ex your experience also you've also been part of the ibiza community and and uh, it's, it's, a, it's great to get that uh, that story into our festival also that's that's amazing no oh, thank you for that recognition also yeah that's very nice Mm -hmm. No, that's also something I would really like to bring and I'm so happy, or will be so happy, <laughs> if mm -hmm. I'm really there physically, mm -hmm. because it's also all about the body, as we know. Sure. And um, I thought when I, I was living actually in Ibiza from 1998 to 2010, and wow. in 2004 I met Ra and other human design people and... Um, Human Design Festival was there every year in uh -huh. um, around Easter for a week, a bit longer, and I took it for granted. I couldn't go to every single one, but to most of them. Yeah. And I thought, ah, oh, next year, the next one, and the next one. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, people from all over the world coming, and uh, that's also how I know uh, several people so of the teacher. I know Don, I know Dashana. Yeah. Well, all people I met, Dirk, of course, and um, Andrea. Well, we are both Austrian, <laughs> so uh -huh, uh -huh, ways uh -huh. we have crossed anyway. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, but uh, that's something I'm, I'm like, wow, maybe this whole spirit again, uh, which I took for granted, and when it was gone, um, I was like, what now? And you yeah, brought that yeah. up again. It's really mm -hmm. so great. You you started with, with your sphinx and, and your like energy manifesting. <laughs> generator energy uh -huh, uh -huh. so that's really great um yeah thank you for that that recognition Teresa. that that goes really deep inside of me and, and uh, it's something i've thought a lot about the previous festival in ibiza and uh, i was kind of cheeky enough you know we, when we promoted the festival to see we're the first international human design festival but i'm speaking out from my generation uh, and my first teacher was richard yeah. beaumont you know and and i see you know uh, that was the first wave of human designers and then i i yeah. kind of i guess i'm on the second wave or some other wave and, and um uh, and i remember talking yeah. to andrea as i as we as uh, i've as Andrea left from the festival last year, she said something very, it was very sweet for me to hear. And she mentioned the festival in Ibiza and how that, you know, how valuable that was for you guys to come there every year around yes. Raw. And you know, it must have been totally. just an amazing time. And of course, we don't have Raw now, but, you <laughs> yeah, know, and, and I was very aware of that. But I think we have the opportunity yeah. to have, uh, you know, uh, Raw's students and their students yeah. coming together and make a contemporary uh, expression yeah. of it. And, and uh, she also said that, oh, you know, maybe Romania is the, is the new place for this uh, gathering. So uh, nothing would please me more to see that this could uh, be like that in the years to come. So, uh, I really hope so. And it's also, as we talked last year already, and uh, you invited me to come, yeah. then it was, I was in a different uh, work situation. And yeah. I couldn't just, or I felt like it's too stressful to leave. And, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now I'm um, also coming back now to the present situation. Um, I already quit my job before I was a school teacher for years. Um, not in Ibiza, but when I came back to Austria again. Mm -hmm. And now I, as I quit and trainer now, I do more human design stuff again. Um, I'm free. I'm ba basically great, even great. like could happen in in May. It could happen. It can happen in September, and yeah. that's also something when eventually um, allowing myself to really trust whatever comes. Well, yeah. my son is now independent. Yes, it's pure gas, and that can. So, hello. <laughs> yes, I did. So sorry. Yeah, uh, today's at this moment. Uh, <laughs> There's one specific person who the, the, the microphone keeps, is a friend of mine, Jennifer. <laughs> She's yeah, Jennifer. Sorry, that's Therese. fine. No, no problem. I, I was just thought <laughs> there's a question. Well, anyway, I want to also cut it short because when I was listening to everybody else, I was like, oh my God, how will the people after me even talk? <laughs> so I yeah, have to yeah, be responsible. Yeah, yeah. But everybody could share and it's so great to let people talk and introduce themselves. So very quickly now, I try to be quick. Um, also introduce myself as this G projector, the self projector. 
um, yeah. as yeah. I am with no motor. <laughs> so how would a person like I survive in difficult times, times coming, um, approaching 2027, and how will this work? But I'm not worried at all. I've been in human design for 16 years and I was very anxious in the beginning, conditioned from my old life. And through the years, through learning, through becoming myself, through uh, meeting different people, I, at the moment, I'm thriving also. I'm one of these people, like apparently most people here who have been in human design, who know who they are, who have followed strategy and authority, it's getting better and better. And I don't mind the whole situation. Of course, it's not nice to watch what's going on collectively, but the collective is never yeah. nice. It's not no. about being nice, it's about being in, in the whole sharing of not self. <laughs> no yes. matter if it's conspiracy theories or if it's like fear mongering yeah. whatsoever, or some like we know what to do and that's the way mm-hmm. we have to do it in any way. But it doesn't really affect me. Yeah, it's like, I do my thing. I'm in my cave. I'm a cave person and it's great. And so what I would like to bring also and hopefully can um, be of service uh, at the festival, also like accompanying people who may have not gone that long way and how, and and to give like some um, reassurance, it's going to be better and better. The more you trust, the more you live your body's life. And I'm also last little thing i'm also a tai chi and qigong teacher i did it a long time ago and this was my way before human design to get into my body like to ground my feet to center in my body i felt almost like i have no motor although i couldn't name it that way i knew there was a lot here all this love all my all my g gates if you look at them everything but wow, one. It's with, I know it's with definitions there. <laughs> <laughs> and how to still get grounded and and be connected with the earth it's, yeah. uh, that's the planet we live on at the moment and oh well in this incarnation we don't know yeah. uh, how, and, and and to sh- cherish a body that can be so yeah. open also and, and not be ill not be sick feel like really good and getting better and building up immune system and having all the tools and really like to also, if whoever wants to practice with me, I'll be there doing my, my Qigong and Tai Chi, I guess. <laughs> and that was the old way. And I do it in my own way now, in the human design way, of course, uh, nine centered yeah. as, as ourselves. It's, yeah. it's uh, yeah. the synthesis. Yeah. Well, there's so much to say, but I'll pass on the word also to those who have been waiting. Yes, yes. We're going to come to the generators now, actually, Teresa. Um, they have been waiting yeah. now. I hope they're still they, here. Actually. They have the <laughs> motors and the motors must be buzzing, actually. That's true. That it's very sacral, true. Like, oh. Let's unleash the engines um, here, Teresa. Thank you thank very much. You. It's thank nice you to have your presence you. here. And, uh, you. Yes, I uh, appreciate that a lot. <laughs> Andrea, my friend from Germany. Are you still here, Andrea? Let's see here if Andrea is still uh, here or uh, he fall out. Andrea had to leave. Ah, thank you. I saw the message now. Okay. Um, then we continue to Liliana. Are you here, Liliana? Yes, I'm here. Hey, Liliana. Very good to be here. Yes. Um, yes, to uh, answer your questions. It was, uh, I'm sorry, just once. Got some babies in the picture, huh? I'm sorry, my son, okay. my three-year-old son just woke up and managed so to escape. Everything is allowed in a Zoom meeting. Uh, yes. So. <laughs> yes. Continue, Liliana. Hey, you, you, you're also uh, uh, from Romania. Uh, we also been working with the festival last year, and uh, you also been a great support for me in the in the upcoming of the festival. So uh, yeah. Amazing thing what you are doing and it's so good to um, 
be able from time to time to see the beauty of your country through the eyes of someone from abroad and you are speaking and uh, feeling Romania in a way that can only empower also Romanians because that's something that has been lacking for a lot of time in Romania, the love that we have for ourselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Coming back also to well, our I find it, I find it very curious when, when I... us as a nation, as a collective, and all mm-hmm. of this environment of having the gate of uh, extremes and the gate of self behavior yeah. being active just emphasized all that mm-hmm. that there is no place for being an individual in in when the collective comes in instead of finding the grounding. I'm yeah. really looking forward to the festival. I think we can communicate also later. Sure. I know you are pressed. <laughs> no, well, it's fine. It's fine. We're a bit pressed on the time schedule, but we, we are getting to the end here now. So, uh, so uh, but thank you for having me from me, Liliana. Very nice. <laughs> and I hope that uh, we can get all grounded. For me, it was a very, it was a big opportunity this uh, period because it allowed me to go to my correct environment, to go to the mountains with the children and everything changed. I'm a hermit, so I prefer having (laughs) online contact a lot of times. Um, And I had to struggle a lot with my fear of tomorrow, which is also where my body finds grounding in the 57th gate. And it was a deep journey to um, remember that uh, the awareness, the intuition that our spleen and our body can uh, offer us uh, is the ability to process the correct stream of information. When you turn your eyes from the present and you look into the future and you fear the tomorrow, what means is that all that information is just chaotic (laughs) and there's, it becomes something that can cut inside you because the 57th gate is the gentle and what I had to come back to was to really ground my body again. Intuition is always gentle when you Mm. see see what you need to see, that the process that's guided through gentleness. So um, it would be an invitation for each and everyone to look at your design earth and see, and just, uh, I don't know, read the name of the gate in the I Ching and what's written above the lines. And is it a way to ground really your body? Mm-hmm. And it would be a nice thing maybe to experience over the following days, weeks, month with what we experience right now. Mm-hmm. Thank you. For Thank you, Liliana. I, I, I just have, I, I have this very sweet feeling of meeting everyone in September after this period uh, of lockdown and uh, everything. So uh, it would be very nice to see you again uh, in the festival. Let's move on uh, to Luca. Are you still here, Luca? Yes, I am. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, brother. And I have to just say it. Uh, you are the one responsible for the trailer that we're going to premiere tomorrow that I showed earlier. I'm going to show it also um, in the end here. So I think you did an amazing job of capturing the feeling. I, I, I told you already, I cried several times looking at it. I guess it was an emotional process for me in the end, this festival. And I believe I cried of joy, actually. It was actually when you added that, uh, when you added the auras uh, on the people, I just, I burst into tears the first time. And uh, it was something like, ah, finally we are, you know, we are, we are getting, uh, we are getting real here. We are doing some real stuff. Thank you, Luca. Yeah, sure. Um, I actually really enjoyed uh, making the video and um, it took a long time actually, uh, a lot of focus and uh, I'm quite new to video editing and all, but um, I I really wanted to do it because I see it as a way to to just get human design out there and uh, I think um, 
I mean, it's such a key. It's such a key for everything. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I have energy to, to just put it out um, as much as I can. So Great. I mean, it was amazing. I, you, you, Mark Esper, he was at the festival last year, the projector from England, if you remember him. He, he remarked after seeing the movie, uh, the film that he told me, uh, he gave me a very good recognition. He said that you carried your vision through, mate. You know, that, that, and actually, I will just turn that over to you. I mean, you, you uh, managed to carry the vision further into the video, and I'm really, really happy for that. So, uh, amazing job. Anything you want to comment on uh, with the individual, uh, the, 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 the question that we began with, and, and uh, something that you want to share? If you're into human design, um, it's just repeated a, a billion times is that strategy and authority is the key. And um, as we move towards the future, it's going to be more and more the key. Um, yeah. I, I don't have much to say, honestly. No, it's um, fine. It's, fine. it's just, um, yeah, I mean, the, the, we can less and less depend on, on outside authorities and, um, and on services and on, on societies it exists right now. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's just, you know, if you trust yourself, you trust your form, it's much more intelligent than you and, um, knows much better than, than any one of us. I mean, any one of our minds, let's say, um, what's good for us and then how we're meant to live and yeah yeah i mean you and just seeing your chart here you're very individually defined you also have the 214 and uh i know yeah. all, all about being in the beat and in on that individual direction and, and uh, for me the festival is, is such a you know it, it's a it's a product of my individualism and and uh and and uh Kind of just standing here where you are from your individual point of view also. I mean, are you surprised over what's happening now? I mean, in the content to 2077 and then the actual things, are you surprised or is it just like, ah, yeah, no, it, this is. No, no, I am surprised. I, I was quite shocked uh, many times, actually, not just then. Uh, I think the world is changing really fast and uh, I'm quite young, but even with my experience, I can see that. Yeah. Um, it's like, yeah. Uh, it's it's like it, I can feel the world getting out of control in a way, yeah. And uh, it's really going to be a theme for the next cycle with the fifty first gate and um, the sixth line, and I mean all these things. Like, just things are not going to be as structured. <laughs> yeah. um, and I guess so, the pressure. I guess the pressure at the same time is going to be a lot of pressure in the coll collective to keep the structures you know uh and it's not going to be possible and i think just sure. that that juxtaposition is going to be i don't know it's going to be strange times I yeah think, yeah yeah i mean to me the the way i see it is that these are also times where so much crazy stuff is happening that it's uh it, it can be scary but it can also be so entertaining yeah um so yeah. much information is is um available and uh in in every direction possible there's so much let's say intelligence mm -hmm. and perspectives available through the internet and all that that i think it's really um it's stimulating yeah um it's, it's an, yeah i think ross said that in one of his talks like um uh, he's, he's talking about the door is closing you know and the end of things he's like you know at least it's interesting, you know, at least it's entertaining. That's what he says. Uh, this is entertaining, you know, and uh -huh, yeah. I can agree with that. Yeah, yeah. You have yeah, to laugh at that. I think it's important. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the same time, I mean, I am not directly affected in a bad way and a lot of people are and it's, it's closer and closer into my fractals mom, of people kind of being affected. So it's, um, uh -huh, all right. I have respect for, for all of those who are, suffering uh, but i, I yeah mm -hmm. I yeah know. i mean i'd like to speak a bit about myself um so you know sure. i'm a living your design guide yeah and um i'll be i'll be working with um or experiments for the next um in the next festival 
Great. And uh, I have a website, uh, which is the nine centers.com. Yes. And it's pretty new and uh, I'm quite excited about, um, you know, doing session with people, uh, sessions with people. And um, I'm also, I started doing um, videos in French, uh, speaking about human design and they're not out yet. That's but uh, it's just one of those things that, you know, to, to get it out there to, to people who don't have as much access. I think, yeah. you know, people who don't speak English, they're really um, disadvantaged in that way. And um, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, there was, there so, was, a, there was a French uh, person who mailed me uh, in French, like, right. and like, I'm registering for the festival. Will it be in French? Uh, nice. and I was just like, and I was just like, no, but uh, <laughs> nice try, maybe typical yeah. French. I like it, but uh, yeah, I saw funny. one of your videos actually doing that, and uh, yeah, I liked it a lot. I, I mean, I, you're one of, if I can reveal that, you're one of our youngest teachers. I think you're born in '94, or yeah, '94. I mean, I, 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 for me, it's clear that the younger generations are the new leaders. So I, I have great just the generational uh, respect for for the younger ones and to see you in this field uh, and in your age just i'm i'm really happy and honored to have you part of the teacher the team from the beginning and, and have you part of the festival and uh, you're doing so much luca and i really appreciate it. i'm really grateful for this festival um it was i mean i felt so great there last year and um uh you know i'm a freak and uh, yeah. but i'm a four i'm a four six so this four really likes um networking in contact and yeah. friendship and meeting people and talking and and uh the only way that i saw that it could work was with this festival like i mean on a big scale because everybody's into what i'm into which is human yeah, exactly. design exactly. and uh, it's just perfect i i i, mean, I love it man I, I really i really uh, uh, share your love for that because I'm also individual, as you know, and then, you know, I, I know all about freaks and I have that detriment in my personality, son, the gate 13, the, the uh, second line of detriment. So for me, you know, there's such a narrow line of who I connect with. I mean, I can connect with everybody and just jib jab some, but I, I'm getting tired of that. I did it before in my not self, but I, I don't have so much energy for that anymore. And, mm. and this is what, uh, what's so, you know, such a deep pleasure for me that every point I meet in the human design community, I mean, it's just like, I can talk to you and I, I can listen to you and it's just so deeply uh, inspiring to, to be in that field. So it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Luca. Thank you. Uh, nice to hear from you, man. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Let's continue here. Veronica, and then we have Victoria in the end. And then we, if, we, if we have the, the senior panel still here, we will come back to them. Uh, uh, and to kind of round it up, uh, hey Veronica, Hello. hey Bulgaria, <laughs> neighbor, <laughs> hi neighbor, very nice. You also been a uh, deep uh, support and just a uh, uh, ally for me in the up running last year with the festival. And uh, you you came last year on the festival and did so much stuff. Uh, you know you you had your dance performance there, amazing, and uh, you did aura experiment. And you measure something, you, you're measuring the aura in your experiments, right? <laughs> yeah, we were, it's um, a process, of course. So it's not really measuring, yeah. but uh, feeling how, yeah. Yeah. through the energy. And that's yeah. what I like, um, all the teachers that are kind of coming into the festival. I guess, you know, we are on fractal somehow and all of you have that embodying uh you know perspective to it it's okay fine enough we have all of this nice information but let's get let's get practical about it let's do it and uh yeah i really uh, enjoyed your uh, workshops last year thanks and uh, it was music to my ears to hear people like uh dirk jacob i don't know them there there is because I'm also very interested in um, embodying the knowledge, in getting centered in the body and its cognition. Yeah. And I also grew up under the influence of the Tao philosophy and a way of life. Since my father is a Sifu master uh, in uh, Dan Kung Fu, Wushu, Orthodox Tai Chi, Sinichuan, Pakwajan, etc. 
So <clears throat> in the Tao, the awareness to the movement of the energy in the body is essential. Yeah. So I would really love to meet those people and experiment really. Uh, and I actually want to do something yeah. to dive directly into experimenting. So mm -hmm. I don't have my normal bell, but please people listen to that sound. Yes. And just for one, two seconds, notice your body. Yeah. <laughs> your position, your place, your surroundings. Just a wake up sound for being here and now. And I want to do a very small. Um, experiment if you could please follow me everybody in front of your computers i would like you to close your eyes and imagine that you're carrying a, ba a bag of stones on your shoulder do you feel how heavy it is now imagine that i'm there with you and I pass behind you and I cut through the back with a knife. The stones pour down the ground and your load is gone. Feel that relief? Yeah. That lightness? Yeah. That's how deconditioning works. Mm. And deconditioning starts with the waiting for all types. Just being here and now. Yeah. So you can find such a sound in your life because one of your questions was what does the countdown to 2027 bring us and yeah. all these sudden events of the pandemic. And you can find such a sound in your life like the bark of a dog or the meow of a cat or the wind or any other sound which reminds you to be here and now and be grounded in the body. And uh, in the festival, if it happens in life, I would really like to experiment with something called sensual labyrinth. It is yeah. uh, diving in uh, experiment in grounding your body with uh, all your senses provoked. Like it's a whole setup with scenery actors, drum circle area, taste, touch, smell, feel, sound, etc. Teasers. And the labyrinth can be actually a great place to discover your inner silence and ground your body senses. Hmm. It, and it, and to, it's a way to wake up the observer, really. Uh, we have these times right now, the opportunity to, to be by ourselves more, to be in our aura, to really decondition, let go of all this fullness yeah. through the yeah. busy lifestyle we've all had. Yeah. And if we do this labyrinth, actually I'm inviting people because uh, it is a collective product that an interdisciplinary um, team is needed of different artists from different fields like theater, music, visual arts, architecture, clothes, whatever, design. So if you have the impulse to join the team, if it happens in September, it, it will be great. You don't have to be an artist. And if I also would like to invite somebody who is um, from the professionals, who is uh, deep into the four uh, transformations, uh, you know, determination, environment, perspective, yeah. uh, motivation to join and uh, be a guiding force in this uh, labyrinth experiment and again i want to finish with be here and now oops it's improvised thing i'm in my summer house. i love your input veronica you always surprise me i love that about you <laughs> <laughs> peace out Thank you, Veronica. See you in September. Nice, very nice. <laughs> Great. I mean, it's uh, human design is uh, the science of differentiation. We're all unique, and uh, you, you always you you represent uniqueness so much for me. Veronica. Great to see. You.
I'm it's a pleasure to have you with us uh, coming back again this year. And now to our last uh, teacher in the panel, uh, and also a new teacher this year, uh, Victoria, are you still here? Yes. Great. Hold on, I'm, I'm going to unmute you, Victoria. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Yes, now, now we are. Now, yeah. Okay, it's almost sunrise here. I'm in Bali now. I'm locked down. Thank you for Bali. sticking out. That's great. <laughs> yes. Actually, I'm very lucky that my strategy uh, bring me uh, here. So, but uh, I wanted to share my experience, uh, uh, like my professional experience. Yes, and please. Actually, a, lot, a lot of people today say about now it's really time for human design knowledge. And I'm absolutely in tune with this because I work a lot with the um, organization. Yes. And now I feel it starts really working. The people start listening to me. I, I work with the owners of company and now they start uh, really use this knowledge. Mm -hmm. And uh, I see uh, it's very good potential also in business. Uh, this situation will bring us. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, in Russia, we are not so much in shock because Russia, we have such kind of crisis every 10 years. So people lost yeah. all money, people lost business. So yeah. it's, uh, it's not so big um, question for Russian people. But. Um, uh, just and in festival, I would like to to share my experience. Uh, 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 You're gonna touch in, into I'm the. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit already in sleepy mood. So <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. So I will I will share my experience in business consulting. How I use human design, and uh, I I actually have a very good result. Last five six years. Yes. So it's not only a one year experience. So I, I'm really leading some companies, I mean, as a consultant. Great, great, great. So, great. And the second part of my, uh, the second area of my interest, it's a body emotional work release. And human, when I met human design 12 years ago, for me, it was like, wow, because I work a lot. And if you see, you have my, uh, yes, you, you see my chart yes. and you can see uh, you can see this, uh, my inner authority uh, is unconscious uh, and yeah. I work a lot, I participate in seminars and I try to understand what does it mean emotions and what happened with me why I suddenly crying and so on. So I'm really very professional now <laughs> in this. <laughs> and when, and when, yes, and I lead seminars also. Mm -hmm. And when I met human design and I it was a shock for me that I really understood that people, there is emotional people and, they, uh, and there are people who are really receptive yeah. and absolutely another kind of bodies, okay. another kind of, and for me it was, I, I now I don't know how people work in this area without this knowledge. So exactly, I, like, exactly. I try to spread uh -huh, this knowledge uh -huh, uh -huh. in body work. Uh -huh community and also I can share that I'm I don't work so much in Russia somehow my uh, my life always bring me to other countries uh -huh. uh, and I, I start work uh, 10 years ago I bring human design to Russian speaking community in Israel to Lithuania uh -huh. to, Latvia, uh -huh. to Latvia so it's mostly with Russian speaking of course community I work in so it's kind, maybe it's my 50th first, uh, first year, it's like, I, I don't know. And I, I, you see, I have another ch Oops. to start something and uh -huh. so on. So that's all I, I wanted to... Great, I, I mean, to I, I, I just take so much uh, joy in, in gathering the whole international community and uh, it was important for me to get the Russian speaking community involved in the festival. I, 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 this year we will succeed in that and I'm very happy to have you, uh, Victor's Victoria, and also that emotional uh, 
your emotional awareness into it. I mean, uh, for me, just personally, also working with human design now over these years, I think Solar Plexus Center is what has given me, uh, you know, actual data to navigate better in life. I mean, for real. Uh, in the sense that the way when I started to live out that more correctly, when I could separate myself from, from that, you know, it meant a much less frustration and anger process for me, actually, just by dealing with my open solar plexus and, and uh, being, uh, you know, uh, being uh, truthful in the, uh, the emotional experience I'm, I'm experiencing. So. Yeah. Uh, and Krista, yeah. thank you so much for this idea to do this conference. For me personally, it's very good uh, ch chance to really see and hear people, the main teachers and all the team to feel connected because yeah. I'm new in this festival. So yes. I appreciate this thank you, thank you. Yes. So nice. thank you so much. And I think for everybody, it's very good opportunity to really each uh, to see each other and feel and uh, like to start our process. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank you so much, Victoria. Uh, all from, from Bali. Thank Have a you. nice uh, sunset, uh, sunrise in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we are uh, half an hour over the time. Uh, um, I guess that's one of my big challenges in life uh, with an open route to keep on time. I hope that you find it anyways uh, interesting to be here. We will return now. Uh, that's what our sequence. We want to return to the senior panel uh, if you feel like it. Uh, uh, so Andrea, are you still here with us? Andrea, are you still here with us? Yes, I am. Hey, Andrea. Yes, so I, I guess we now are in the final uh, steps of the conference as such. Uh, anything uh, that's come to your... Uh, to be I, to I was just uh, uh, very impressed how everybody sees uh, um, or having their opinions to the questions and how they present themselves. And yeah, I guess this will be a wonderful festival um, yes. in September. So great opportunities for, for everybody to get in contact with people who have a lot, lot of knowledge in human design, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, have different designs themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, perfect. This yeah. is really lovely. Yeah. Thank you, Andrea. And I, I wanted to say that in the beginning, if I will finally say it now, but I'm so proud of what, uh, I mean, personally, what I achieved of gathering uh, this year of the teachers. And of course, that, that gratitude goes to all of you who, who helped me support this. And uh, we really have an amazing teacher spectrum uh, this year, uh, you know, ranging from senior teachers at the International Human Design School, like, like Andrea and Ashana, who, who teach on a full scale. and, and uh, we have all the spectrum and all the teachers, all the types represented. So I'm, I'm super happy about that. Thank you, Andrea. Anything more you want to share or should I go? Um... Just move on. I will. Dajana, yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you much. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey there. Hey there. <laughs> Back again. <laughs> um, great, this has been great. You know, I really, I think it's so beautiful to hear all the outer, I mean, you're not using the language, let's shift and just to humanness and just say, it was just so beautiful to see everybody's light shine, you know, yeah. and, um, and the patience of all the people that are here too, waiting to be heard and, yeah. and, yeah. and so on. Lovely to see a lot of my old friends from, from the earlier days and to also students of, and um, new people. I mean, it's just, yeah, I already said it all about tribe, how much I like it. Um, but what I really think is great is what your orientation was last time with embodiment and the work that I hear from some of, of the different teachers here too, the ones that are wanting to bring in body oriented work. Yeah. You know, each of us has different areas of our, our being that is, is capable of impacting or, or contributing or guiding or, yeah creating and um i'm not a physical person you know i'm sort of mystical and in the air 
but I love it. I love the body and um, a lot. And so I'm so happy that that's, that there's space for that here, you know, or not space, but it's like, that's a big part of it. Yeah. So all I mean, of you are making your contribution that way. Also, Andre, who's gone, he did such cool work with the Stand on the Mandana yeah. work workshop last time. And It was a shame he left. Uh, I mean, he did a really uh, amazing, yeah. he set the standard last year with that body. I want to comment on what you're saying here because, you know, uh, that field we are in when we are at the festival, when we're learning, I mean, when the aura becomes the teacher. That's how I become to see it. I mean, just being in that field and is, is embodying, uh, even though, as you say, we are maybe engaged into very mystical domains or, you know, uh, global cycles or whatever, but, but the whole festival, uh, you make me see that now it embodies that, uh, it's a field of embodiment. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, and ultimately, I mean, we're just our energy, you know, it's it's pretty simple when it gets right down to it. Yeah. You know, we have an imprint that we wear, and if we allow it, then we're there. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, um, we have to relearn it. My little grandson, who's 13 days old, is doing it perfectly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no trouble at all. <laughs> mm. Exactly. Right. Look forward Thank to you, Dashana. Thank you so much uh, for your presence. We will move over to Jacob, if he's still here. Yes. Hi. Yes, I'm still here. That uh, was absolutely fantastic to hear everybody speak about uh, their plans. I'm very much looking forward. I think it's a great opportunity to uh, do some serious work, but also have some serious fun. And I think it's just a great, com great combination. And... Uh, Beyond that, I think uh, enough has been said. So uh, that's it. Thanks for being invited and you know, just looking forward to it. Yeah. My pleasure. Let's have a bear at the beach uh, after our workshop in the sense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you. Nice to hear from you. Thank you for, the, thank you for the time, taking your time. And let's see here, Dirk, are you still around? Uh, yeah. Yes, I'm still around. Uh, cool. So yeah, I don't know. Thanks a lot. So I, I guess uh, just to, before you start here uh, in the sequence plan I sent you, you, you have the final word. Uh, however, uh, I, I realized that I started the recording uh, just after my initial presentation in this conference. Uh, so, so we have Andrea's uh, segment at first and we have everything. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay here a little bit after your word now and I will show the video again of, of the festival and if people want to hang out a little bit more uh, I, at least I will be here no problem so yeah rounding up the conference uh, are there a reflector on the vessel of love <laughs> what do you have for us <laughs> <laughs> well I, I mean thanks a lot you know I, I think uh, it's a very nice vibe that you're creating and a very nice initiative um, from the vessel of love, the only thing I can say is that, you know, I, it's all about thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, that, that's, that's what really keeps me going through my life in the most present way. You know, it's like, it's be, to be grateful. And um, yeah, in terms of the, like, uh, in terms of the program, I mean, I, I would just say, like yesterday I was watching the news and I'm like, oh, there comes Mars. You know, it's like, oof. Yeah. Uh, and, and I was looking a little bit like oh, it's, it's going to go through Aries and all that kind of stuff and, and Mars is pretty immature and Aries I'm an Aries myself like fuck <laughs> you know there's going to be a lot of immaturity in the air and a lot of you know feastiness in the air in the months to come and the nodes stay in the 12 uh, stay, stay in, the, in the 10 and the 15 in the first line so there's all of this you know behavior and extremes in behavior and all that kind of stuff and at the same time, those gates of limitation, they stay there. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting times. Yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot for uh, doing this and uh, all the best to everybody. Yeah, my pleasure, Dirk. Uh, thank you for your words there. So that rounds up our uh, panel discussion for today. We are well over two hours already. Uh, I guess this is the experience I always have with human design. We, 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 we love this, all of us. I guess that's what we share about this and the discussion sometimes keep on. I will uh, 
now go into the trailer one more time. Uh, maybe I will show it a couple of times uh, to kind of explain a little bit. But it's a four-star resort uh, that has different type of accommodation. It has, uh, you know, two-floor apartments. Uh, it has single room, double rooms. It has another area here, which have these cabins, which are the cheapest uh, type of accommodation. They are still very nice. Uh, and you also, you can bring your tent. So there's all types of accommodation, all types of budgets, basically. Uh, Romania is a pretty, you know, it's a, it's, it's a reasonable country uh, price-wise, especially when it comes to, uh, you know, accommodation and food and stuff like that. That's the resort. You're very well taken care of there. And, and uh, of course, you have all the, I mean, that amazing nature where you have this delta uh, nature, this delta environment, which I call kind of an European Amazonas. And then just walking past this resort here, coming down to the beach, you have this openness, you know, where you have just sand beaches for, for kilometers. So, so you can easily switch between environments. Uh, and there's a little village where we are. Uh, uh, there's a little, little community in this little town called St. George. There are some restaurants, some shops, etc. So you can also kind of get into the market, have a coffee if, if you feel like, yeah. Uh, being in another environment uh, as such. So yeah, this is, this is the aura experiment. This is my favorite part, uh, just teaching in my network, but also learning in the aura, uh, letting the aura being the teacher. Uh, I guess that's what kind of really takes place in this festival that we have, we have the knowledge as a framework of correctness, uh, and then we can just engage in a lot of fun and, uh, uh, learn from it, uh, from everything we engage into. For example, when it comes to the embodiment pillar, just knowing the types, you know, uh, might often alter the, the type of approach to body work we have, for example. Uh, yeah. This is, uh, again, the painting from uh, the reflector uh, yeah, from uh, Hungary. Here is a bit of information of the festival. You can buy the tickets. Yes. So then I will just go into the presentation one more last time, just to, to sum it up. This has been the International Human Design Conference online. Uh, I hope to come back with more of that. As I mentioned also uh, in the beginning, I have regular podcasts uh, in different areas, basically. My, my, uh, I am running a Manifesting Generate podcast regularly and also into the more themes of 2027 and, and uh, mutation. So uh, just stay tuned to our Facebook uh, page. Uh, and you will see the new events coming. And if you feel like uh, donating a little bit, uh, we really appreciate that. Uh, it can be anything, uh, five euros, one euro, whatever you feel like. Uh, information, if you want to donate, the information is given per email. Uh, if you registered, you should have it already. It's either by PayPal or direct bank. And just a little reminder of the oral count uh, of the audience today. This is the Zoom audience. And we were also live on uh, Facebook, so, so there might have been more. We got around 200 reg registrations in total, and not everyone with the birth data. So, so the one you see over here in the count is the one who sent in their data. Um, 65 generators of them, 42 being manifesting generators. 54 projectors, uh, thank you all for tuning in. Projectors and uh, 16 manifestors and seven reflectors, which was also a very delightful surprise for me personally. And of the conference and the panel team, we had eight generators, seven projectors, one manifestors and one reflector. So,
I almost don't want to leave this place. It's so nice being here with you, but for the sake of uh, time, uh, I will end it now. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Uh, remember tomorrow we will uh, have another event. It will, won't be soon, but it will be uh, possible to interact with me more closely in, on the festival. Uh, so uh, follow our page tomorrow and uh, we'll stay in touch. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a great night or morning wherever we are in the world. Uh, we have people all over the world joining today and it's been a great pleasure that you took your time and uh, yeah, showed your support uh, watching us. Thank you very much.